walk you guys around the event for a little bit. Everybody kind of see what's going on. That's the big uh, competition stage behind me. So I'll switch the camera around here. I can figure out how to do it. This is the BYOC area, this means bring your own computer. If you don't bring your computer, there are some free to use for an hour at a time up front. Uh, but most of the real hardcore guys bring their own rigs. And there's just endless seas of them here. I mean, there's just so much stuff. They'll even do, uh, I don't see them right now, but they'll even do projectors and stuff on the walls. Kind of speed this up a little bit. I'll go over to the other side here in a minute for those of you watching. Yeah, they see they do projectors on the walls and stuff like that. It's just row after row after row after row. And people just playing all sorts of different things. Old, new, everything. It's crazy. Let's see what we got here. AMD. Yeah, I'll try to go over to the other side here in a minute. I just want to give you guys an example of the, how big the BYOC is. watching um, this right here is a UAC VIP area I'm not sure how you get into that you can meet some of the id and Bethesda guys in there it's got a little lounge and stuff um, I'm not really sure how how anybody got into that but I never saw anything on the site for it I did ask about it and they said uh, no they had to register a while back See, see a lot of UAC station locks here. This is the network operations center right here. A lot of Quake champions going on, obviously. If you come to QuakeCon, better be prepared to play Quake and Doom. <laughs> Can't believe the people out there who are, oh, I've never played Doom and Quake, but I show up at QuakeCon. Yeah, it's, it's pretty incredible. Let's go down this way real quick.
And it's just all sorts of crazy stuff in here. Look at this. I mean, look at this. Some of these rigs with these guys. These guys go all out. It's just fantastic. I'd go row by row, but just take all day. And they said this is smaller than it has been in the past. Uh, the BYOC area, I guess the Gaylord just doesn't have as nearly as big of a um, convention area as the Hilton does. And they kind of rotate on and off. I heard that they weren't allowed they weren't allowed to use the Gaylord for a while uh, because I guess Gaylord management was mad at them. Somebody had ripped a urinal off the wall. Apparently they switched management, so now they're allowed back at the uh, the Gaylord. All right, we're going to head on over to the other side or here real quick. People, a lot of people say my streaming on my phone is not that great. I think it's just because I, I shake real bad. I think I've explained that in the past. So, um, unfortunately, that's kept me from playing a lot of demos and stuff like that. They've got new Colossus demos and everything else like that. But, or the Dusk multiplayer demo specifically. I've gotten a few, few good. I've got the uh, Doom VFR, Doom VFR um, demo down. They have a. I saw signs for Skyrim over there. Um, I don't know if they have a Skyrim VR. I know they're also doing Fallout 4 VR demos over there. Um, but yeah, the first, obviously, the one I hit up was Doom VFR. Virtual fucking reality. Yeah. The. Uh, Everybody's a lot happier today. For some reason, the uh, internet circuit that they had here, there's three of them, I think. It failed in the entire city. Uh, the provider the provider link failed, so they spent quite a few hours trying to get that back up and running. So luckily, it's, it's up and running today. Um, I'm off my staff shift right now, so I'm just kind of walking around, seeing what I can check out. Trying to stay out of trouble. Apparently these rows right here, or so I was told, I accidentally make an, made an error earlier, I made a comment about it. I think those are it and Bethesda guys right there. And they have all sorts of competitions. There's even competitions. There was the Doom 2016 money competition, uh, Quake 2 competition, everything else like that. So let's see some of the cool stuff. That was my booth up there. We're going to try to get a nice and slow through here. Quake 2. And they're still doing a Doom community, uh, I'm sorry, Battle of the BYOC competition. There's a lot of money in that. That was one of the things I was helping out with earlier. Um, it was a considerable amount of effort they had to get in that because there was a bunch of teams competing, making sure they were all organized. There's the uh, Cyber Power PCs I was talking about, these rows right here. You can rent them. Um, actually, they're free to rent. You just get an hour each day to play on them. Or if they're not busy, they'll let you play a little longer. They're all AMD powered. There's Corsair booth. Here's a tournament registration and customer service. This is where I'm going to. Community competitions. And uh, there's all the. Everybody doing the competition up there. I don't know if they're actually up there right now. I think this is just pre-recorded stuff. But um, it's actually really cool up here. Let me go up here. Just because you're one, you're the other. Yeah, they are sitting up there. I guess they are playing right now. Can't see them too well with the camera. But what's really awesome here is that chapel underneath the quake sign. You can. At first, I thought it was just an optical illusion, but no, you can actually walk back there. It goes behind the stage and all that. His goal was to make it out of the stage, and he 
as the competition heats up, this is going to get a lot more crowded. Unfortunately, I'll be leaving Saturday, so I don't know if I'll get to see all of it. The end of Saturday. The late, late in Saturday evening, I'll be, I won't be at the event Sunday at all, just Saturday. And then you've got your AMD booth over here. lady came out from the booth earlier. She's like, hey, checking out AMD stuff. I'm like, I just built a Threadripper system. She gave me a hug for it. But they got a lot of cool stuff over here. Trying to keep it slow so the, uh, the stream doesn't break up. Let me see if I can sneak over this way. Motherboards. This over here. Look at that. These are all AMD powered. Quake champions. I love these cases, man. Oh my goodness. If I could get my hands on one of these cases. Everybody knows for quite a few years I was predominantly an Intel guy. I have gone back to AMD myself. So there's AMD staff right there. Um I'm not really sure what that is over there. You get the Bethesda, the Bethesda stuff, and there's Alienware. Because, just because, Alienware. Got the Bethesda stuff over here. There's some Bethesda guys right there. Some more Bethesda folks. No, wait a minute. I remember seeing some of these people at the IT studio for some reason. They're showing off Wolfenstein 2, New Colossus. Dishonored on the other side. Still got to get a chance to check out that demo. Um, I'll probably do that a little later. Let's see here. We got some sort of stage or something over here. Just got my uh, Dusk t shirt and I got a Quake Champion shirt for Claudia. Hope she likes it. Sure, what this is all about, but they're doing some sort of game like mini games event and giveaways and stuff like that. It's been pretty crowded over here. There is the Dusk Multiplay demo station. Oh, yeah. Bumped into Mr. Hushol earlier. Got to meet some of the devs. Gotta hover over these guys for a minute. I mean, this station has been busy 24-7, like, since I got here. Like, they've been having to make space for people, so... If that tells you anything, the game is going to be fucking epic when it launches. The episode 1 was cool enough the way it was. Um... Got MSI... Over here. Got an MSI stuff. Pretty cool. QuakeCon retail store. It's where I've been getting all my gear. It's actually pretty reasonably priced for uh, what you'd expect. The shirt's only like 15, 20 bucks, something like that. Just nice. Got the, we're actually wearing the sweater, the Quake sweater up there on the wall, or hoodie. Uh, sweater. Fucking sweater. Uh, I think it was only like 50 bucks or something like that. Really reasonable prices. Here's the uh, VR station. We got Skyrim. They told me I'm not really supposed to be recording anything here. There's Fallout 4 VR and uh, Doom VFR. You got a pet uh, care center over here, Humane Center. Just doing some advertising. You got some other cool stuff back there. And you've got the uh, Razer booth. They're doing a bunch of giveaways and stuff like that. Free GPUs, graphics cards. Everything else like that. I don't know if you guys can even hear me because it's so damn loud here. You got Twitch over there. Let's walk back up here in the front. And... Let's see what's up front. Let me see here. Pretty crazy through here. Really did pick up after they got the internet back up and running. 
Oh wait, I guess I wasn't supposed to talk about that. Don't talk about what everybody already knows, I guess. So let me go back this way. Let me see here. Already went through the BYOC area. Um, there is a tabletop. They got a lot of tabletop stuff. Ah, that Wolfenstein too. It keeps getting my attention. Well, that guy looks familiar. There's Tim Willits. <laughs> How's it going there, Tim? Hey, how are you? All right. Nice meeting you, sir. <laughs> Tim Willits. So yeah, I tell you, you just bump into anybody around here. That guy, as I was mentioning earlier, that guy just bounces around everywhere in here. The fact that he was even stopped kind of shocks me. Um, you got Dishonored booth and everything else over there. I started that game off. And this is just the entranceway to the convention. You got all the registrations and sign-ins and everything else up there. A lot of cosplay stuff. I think there's a cosplay competition down that way. That's pretty much it. We'll catch up with you guys.